Sergei Mikhailovich Brin is an American business magnate, computer scientist and internet entrepreneur. Together with Larry Page, he co-founded Google. Brin was the president of Google's parent company, Alphabet Incorporated, until stepping down from the role on December 3, 2019. He and Page remain at Alphabet as co-founders, controlling shareholders, board members, and employees. As of April 2021, Brin is the eighth richest person in the world, with an estimated net worth of $100.20 billion. Brin immigrated to the United States with his family from the Soviet Union at the age of six. He earned his bachelor's degree at the University of Maryland, College Park, following in his father's and grandfather's footsteps by studying mathematics, as well as computer science. After graduation, he enrolled in Stanford University to acquire a PhD in computer science. There he met Page, with whom he built a web search engine. The program became popular at Stanford, and they suspended their PhD studies to start up Google in Susan Wojcicki's garage in Menlo Park. Chapter 1 Early Life and Education Brin was born on August 21, 1973, in Moscow in the Soviet Union, to Jewish parents, Mikhail and Eugenia Brin, both graduates of Moscow State University. His father is a retired mathematics professor at the University of Maryland, and his mother a researcher at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. The Brin family lived in a three-room apartment in central Moscow, which they also shared with Sergei's paternal grandmother. In 1977, after his father returned from a mathematics conference in Warsaw, Poland, Mikhail Brin announced that it was time for the family to emigrate. They formally applied for their exit visa in September 1978, and as a result, his father was promptly fired. For related reasons, his mother had to leave her job. For the next eight months, without any steady income, they were forced to take on temporary jobs as they waited, afraid their request would be denied as it was for many refuseniks. In May 1979 they were granted their official exit visas and were allowed to leave the country. The Brin family lived in Vienna, and Paris while Mikhail Brin secured a teaching position at the University of Maryland with help from Anatole Katak. During this time, the Brin family received support and assistance from the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society. They arrived in the United States on October 25, 1979. Brin attended elementary school at Paint Branch Montessori School in Adelphi, Maryland, but he received further education at home. His father, a professor in the Department of Mathematics at the University of Maryland, encouraged him to learn mathematics and his family helped him retain his Russian language skills. He attended Eleanor Roosevelt High School, Greenbelt, Maryland. In September 1990, Brin enrolled in the University of Maryland, where he received his Bachelor of Science from the Department of Computer Science in 1993 with honors in computer science and mathematics at the age of 19. In 1993, he interned at Wolfram Research, the developers of Mathematica. Brin began his graduate study in computer science at Stanford University on a graduate fellowship from the National Science Foundation. As of 2008, he was on leave from his PhD studies at Stanford. Chapter 2 Search Engine Development During an orientation for new students at Stanford, he met Larry Page. The two men seemed to disagree on most subjects, but after spending time together, they became intellectual soul mates and close friends. Brin's focus was on developing data mining systems while Page's was in extending the concept of inferring the importance of a research paper from its citations in other papers. Together, they authored a paper titled The Anatomy of a Large-Scale Hypertextual Web Search Engine. To convert the backlink data gathered by Backrub's web crawler into a measure of importance for a given web page, Brin and Page developed the PageRank algorithm, and realized that it could be used to build a search engine far superior to those existing at the time. The new algorithm relied on a new kind of technology that analyzed the relevance of the backlinks that connected one web page to another, and allowed the number of links and their rank, to determine the rank of the page. Combining their ideas, they began utilizing Page's dormitory room as a machine laboratory, 
and extracted spare parts from inexpensive computers to create a device that they used to connect the nascent search engine with Stanford's broadband campus network. After filling Page's room with equipment, they then converted Bryn's dorm room into an office and programming center, where they tested their new search engine designs on the web. The rapid growth of their project caused Stanford's computing infrastructure to experience problems. Page and Bryn used the former's basic HTML programming skills to set up a simple search page for users, as they did not have a web page developer to create anything visually elaborate. They also began using any computer part they could find to assemble the necessary computing power to handle searches by multiple users. As their search engine grew in popularity among Stanford users, it required additional servers to process the queries. In August 1996, the initial version of Google was made available on the Stanford website. By early 1997, the back rub page described the state as follows. Some rough statistics. Total indexable HTML URLs, 75.2306 million. Total content downloaded. 207.022 gigabytes. Backrub is written in Java and Python and runs on several Sun Ultras and Intel Pentiums running Linux. The primary database is kept on a Sun Ultra Series 2 with 28 gigabytes of disk. Scott Hassan and Alan Sterenberg have provided a great deal of very talented implementation help. Sergey Brin has also been very involved, and deserves many thanks. Larry Page Page Stanford.edu back rub already exhibited the rudimentary functions and characteristics of a search engine, a query input was entered and it provided a list of backlinks ranked by importance. Page recalled, we realized that we had a querying tool. It gave you a good overall ranking of pages and ordering of follow-up pages. Page said that in mid-1998 they finally realized the further potential of their project, pretty soon, we had 10,000 searches a day. And we figured, maybe this is really real. Some compared Page and Brin's vision to the impact of Johannes Gutenberg, the inventor of modern printing. In 1440, Johannes Gutenberg introduced Europe to the mechanical printing press, printing Bibles for mass consumption. The technology allowed for books and manuscripts originally replicated by hand to be printed at a much faster rate, thus spreading knowledge and helping to usher in the European Renaissance, Google has done a similar job. The comparison was also noted by the authors of the Google story, not since Gutenberg, has any new invention empowered individuals, and transformed access to information, as profoundly as Google. Also, not long after the two cooked up their new engine for web searches, they began thinking about information that was at the time beyond the web, such as digitizing books and expanding health information. Chapter 3 – Other Interests Bryn is working on other, more personal projects that reach beyond Google. For example, he and Paige are trying to help solve the world's energy and climate problems at Google's philanthropic arm, Google.org which invests in the alternative energy industry to find wider sources of renewable energy. The company acknowledges that its founders want to solve really big problems using technology. In October 2010, for example, they invested in a major offshore wind power development to assist the East Coast power grid, which will eventually become one of about a dozen offshore wind farms that are proposed for the region. A week earlier they introduced a car that, with artificial intelligence, can drive itself using video cameras and radar sensors. In the future, drivers of cars with similar sensors would have fewer accidents. These safer vehicles could, therefore, be built lighter and require less fuel consumption. They are trying to get companies to create innovative solutions to increasing the world's energy supply. Bryn was also an early investor in Tesla. In 2004, he and Page were named Persons of the Week by ABC World News Tonight. In January 2005 he was nominated to be one of the World Economic Forum's Young Global Leaders. In June 2008, Bryn invested $4.5 million in Space Adventures, the Virginia-based space tourism company. 
his investment will serve as a deposit for a reservation on one of Space Adventures' proposed flights in 2011. Space Adventures, the only company that sends tourists to space, has sent five of them so far. Bryn and Page jointly own a customized Boeing 767 to 200 and a Dornier Alpha jet, and pay $1.3 million a year to house them and two Gulfstream V jets owned by Google executives at Moffett Federal Airfield. The aircraft have had scientific equipment installed by NASA to allow experimental data to be collected in flight. In 2012, Bryn has been involved with the Project Glass program and has demoed eyeglass prototypes. Project Glass is a research and development program by Google to develop an augmented reality head-mounted display. The intended purpose of Project Glass products would be the hands-free displaying of information currently available to most smartphone users, and allowing for interaction with the internet via natural, language voice commands. Brin was also involved in the Google driverless car project. In September 2012, at the signing of the California Driverless Vehicle Bill, Bryn predicted that within five years, robotic cars will be available to the general public. Chapter 4 – Personal Life In May 2007 Bryn married biotech analyst and entrepreneur and Wachitsky in the Bahamas. They had a son in late 2008 and a daughter in late 2011. Bryn is Jewish and not religious. In August, 2013, it was announced that Bryn and his wife were living separately after Bryn had an extramarital affair with Google Glasses marketing director Amanda Rosenberg. In June 2015, Bryn and Wojcicki finalized their divorce. In 2018 he married Nicole Shanahan, a legal tech founder. They have a daughter, born in late 2018. Bryn's mother, Eugenia, has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. In 2008 he decided to make a donation to the University of Maryland School of Medicine, where his mother is being treated. Bryn and Wojcicki, although divorced, still jointly run the Bryn Wojcicki Foundation. They have donated extensively to the Michael J. Fox Foundation and in 2009 gave $1 million to support the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society. Sergey Brin is a donor to Democratic Party candidates and organizations, having donated $5,000 to Barack Obama's re election campaign and $30,800 to the DNC. According to CNBC, Brin became interested in blockchain technology after building a gaming computer with his son to mine Ethereum. Chapter 5 – Awards and Accolades Chapter 5 – Section 1, 2002-2009 In 2002 Brin, along with Larry Page, was named in the MIT Technology Review TR100, as one of the top 100 innovators in the world under the age of 35. In 2003 both Bryn and Page received an honorary MBA from EA Business School for embodying the entrepreneurial spirit and lending momentum to the creation of new businesses. In 2004 they received the Marconi Foundation Prize, the highest award in engineering, and were elected fellows of the Marconi Foundation at Columbia University. In announcing their selection, John J. Iselin, the Foundation's president, congratulated the two men for their invention that has fundamentally changed the way information is retrieved today. In 2003 Bryn and Page were both award recipients and national finalists for the A Entrepreneur of the Year Award. In 2004 Bryn received the American Academy of Achievements Golden Plate Award with Larry Page at a ceremony in Chicago, Illinois. Chapter 5 Section 2 2009 Present in November 2009 Forbes decided Bryn and Page were the fifth most powerful people in the world. Earlier that same year, in February, Bryn was inducted into the National Academy of Engineering, which is among the highest professional distinctions accorded to an engineer, honors those who have made outstanding contributions to engineering research, practice. He was selected specifically, for leadership in development of rapid indexing and retrieval of relevant information from the World Wide Web. In their profiles of fellows, the National Science Foundation included a number of earlier awards he was a featured speaker at the World Economic Forum and the Technology, Entertainment, and Design Conference, 
PC Magazine has praised Google in the top 100 websites and search engines and awarded Google the Technical Excellence Award for innovation in web application development in 1999. In 2000, Google earned a Webby Award, a People's Voice Award for Technical Achievement, and in 2001, was awarded Outstanding Search Service, Best Image Search Engine, Best Design, Most Webmaster Friendly Search Engine, and Best Search Feature at the Search Engine Watch Awards. As of May 2021, Bryn is the ninth richest person in the world according to Forbes, with an estimated net worth of $95.6 billion. Chapter 6 Appearances in Film